years ma'am 2 years yes. thank you thank you ma'am can we have dr vidya bhushan kumar is dr ragit tohit here good morning ma'am shall i start uh so my presentation is ocular anaphylaxis management and clinical outcome of after corneal bee sting uh this is a case series report case one four years old female child referred to us with a complaint of swelling increased lacrimation pain and not able to open her left eye for past five days this episode occurs after swarm of bees attack on her all over the body and i told by her parents on gross examination uh, upper and lower eyelid um, bear mild edematous conjunctival chemosis and corneal edema was present on her left eye patient was not cooperative for the slit lamp and fundus examination so we planned under general anesthesia for next day and we did uh, ultrasound b scan uh, which shows within normal limit and asoct shows corneal edema with bullae intraoperative b uh, revealed that there is a foreign body probably a bee stinger embedded into the deep of the stoma of the cornea temporarily at the 3 o'clock position and 2 mm from the limbus and her left eye infiltration around the bee sting and generalized coronary edema that may be due to the toxic and immunogenic response after chem anterior chamber detail was hazy but in, uh, there was another foreign body was seen in uh, which was stuck in the iris and there was a heterochromia iris pupil pharmacologically dilated and lens was clear both fine body were removed and uh, sent for the histopathology and microbiological examination which showed the bee stinger post operative oral steroid was started oral and topical and with oral antihistaminic and topical antibiotic lubricating and cycloplegic eye drops and uh, topical steroid was started after 3 days of post op one big later stromal edema resolved completely uh, although small opacity in the site of the bee sting remained a uh, child was able to open her uh, eye comfortably vision improved to uh, significantly to 6 by 36 and entire chamber was quiet patient was registered for op optical pk another case 46 year old male with uh, history of honey bee attack on his uh, right eye b sting was removed immediately in ot and medical management started post op follow up after 3 month all the symptoms were subsided but vision didn't improve significantly due to the corneal opacity which was new, uh, with uh, uh, corneal neovascularization and cataract lens patient was uh, planned for the optical pk and thereafter phaco emulsification with pcio and post op bcv was 6 by 6 part case c uh, 3 was also similar to the case 2 and case 4 was young male patient presented with a third day of post op sting injury with complete stromal lysis melted cornea perforation planned directly for the therapeutic pk inflammation uh, inflammatory member were, were removed in and uh, lens uh, over the lens and uh, was throughout least started steroid oral and topical from very next day of the surgery discussion corneal bee sting have uh, been uh, rarely described in the literature that can lead to the potentially devastating complication like ocular anaphylaxis and uh, keratitis in which include keratitis severe toxic endothelitis bullous keratopathy and corneal opacity toxic keratitis iris atrophy and lenticular changes secondary glaucoma optic neuropathy and even thysis so treatment usually aim to minimizing the toxic and immunogenic response however due to the rarity of the injury there is no established clinical guideline for the management of the patient early surgical intervention which include uh, removal of the bee sting uh, and high dose of steroid along with the topical antibiotic steroid and cycloplegic is the main stay of the treatment take home message is prompt and early intervention with removal of the bee sting oral steroid is must almost all patient need keratoplasty surgery due to severe inflammation and further corneal opacity thank you how did you do the anterior segment oct under general anesthesia for the first patient no that uh, uh, we did pre operatively day day uh, the day patient was reported that day we did ultrasound b scan and uh, asoct ma'am but the okay. patient baby was 4 years old so, so not cooperated for the slit lamp protocol okay. and so what did. was the gap between the presentation and the keratoplasty did you do keratoplasty for all cases uh four cases ma'am all cases be uh, went for the keratoplasty only mm. and uh, uh, one case was a stromal lysis complete stromal mm. lysis within 3 days other cases after uh, second case after 3 month uh, oh. because of the uh, corneal neovascularization and lenticular changes okay. uh, i think uh, these are very uh, challenging situations and i think very well managed Uh, very well managed because of the severity of the inflammation these are very challenging situations and a lot depends on you know how early the patient uh, presents to you so if the patient presents uh, early then the outcomes you know we can try and help them out but 
but uh, with the present late, like you showed the last case, uh, yes. present after four hours of the melt and you had to do a graph. So it's a very challenging situation and I think you're right that you know, very little available in the literature about you know how to manage these. So my question was about the uh, therapeutic graft which you did. Did the how, how long follow-up do you have and did the graft survive? Because there is severe amount of inflammation. So I was just uh, curious about you know how whether the graft uh, how long was the graft? Uh, among four cases, one case even uh, graft, uh, regrafting was done because of the graft failure. So even after transplantation and proper management, uh, chances of uh, graft failure is, uh, rejection is very high. Yes, agreed. Uh, did you use systemic steroids for any of the patients? All the patients, yes ma'am. All the patients? Yes ma'am. Yes, ma okay. Uh, which systemic steroid and any particular dose? Yeah, one uh, that mentioned one milligram uh, by bisolone one milligram per kg body weight. Okay, fine. Nice presentation. Thank, Thank you. you.